Good morning, interwebs. It is 9.55 and look at this. I'm like dressed and awake and I picked the camera and I'm feeling much, much better, which is good. Now, to be honest, the clock in my room was wrong for some reason this morning. So it's a half hour ahead to begin with because it's dumb and won't let me set it any other way. But it said that it was 10.30 meaning that it was 10. I got downstairs and it was 9. Which is good, because I didn't think I'd slept that long. So, we have had breakfast, and now I'm about to edit the vlog and put it up. And then we'll see what else our day brings. Steve is putting up door trim at the moment. So he's Wanna getting... Wanna make a decision on your vlog? Ooh, sure. Yes, I'll make one. Oh, the light switch plate. Do you want me to notch the trim or cut the plate? Notch the trim because in our previous experience, cutting the plate is lame. Okay. We have, in previous endeavors, we have cut the plates. Let's see, is this one cut? Oh, nope, this one's not. The ones upstairs are, I think it's the ones upstairs that are cut, but. But yeah, it makes for an edge that I am not a fan of. I tend to catch my finger on it. So it's like 11.30 and I should be, uh, I don't know, wrapping things up. I made my last cup of tea. I'm gonna sit down and drink it. I still need to do my copy work for the day to cover that as far as squeaky wheels goes. Let's see, what did I do? Oh, today I did, I got my planner out and I did my meal plan for the week and I already changed something about it. <laughs> I said we're gonna have pizza tonight because Steve had told me there was a good deal at Pizza Hut and that I show it pizza. Well, then I went to go and order the pizza and I was not happy with the deal. So I decided that even though pizza was what I've been planning for for like two days and it sounded really good, we come home and I make food. So I made like cheesy scrambled eggs and then some, I took some peaches out of our freezer and defrosted them and cooked them with apple butter and had like spiced peaches. They were really tasty. So I did that. I also went through and did like my weekly plan and I figured out all my, where my wheels fit in and all the things that we have to do this week. Um, today I did just about everything on my list. I finished the doily. Oop, Jezebel, get off my doily so I can show them. See, I finished my doily. It's so pretty, especially with a cat in the middle of it. Move. I know there are some of people that will actually prefer the doily with the cat on top, but here it is, sans cat. And <laughs> it obviously is to be blocked, but I'm very happy with it. And I did the meal plan. I took my daughter to dance and I picked up the living room some and I did the reading to the boys. And I stayed to do my copy work, and we did um, listen to some music and talk about it for Brave Rider. And the thing I didn't do was hang out with Steve. We, like, just ran into time where it didn't work. So I'd kind of laid out the three days I thought I'd hang out with him, Monday, Thursday, and Friday. But clearly I will need to move one of those days, so I get my three days in. Which is a good thing that I didn't just push it all off and go, oh, I'll do the last three days of the week. Because you know what happens when I push things off the last three days? I don't get them done. So... It was a good thing that I uh, set things up like that. And then my daughter had danced today. I got her there on time again, go me. And it was uh, the open the door thing again. And there were thankfully more parents there, more than there have been. But while I was in the car, I started, where'd it go? I started a pair of slippers. Okay, there. I got, my first issue of my something to read from Christmas was Crochet World Magazine. So, I got my first issue and I decided to make the gripper slippers, which look like that. And you're supposed to use some like special yarn to make the bottoms grippy and I'm just not doing that, but I thought I would give them a shot. And I thought I would give them a shot like right away because I have previously subscribed to like quilting magazines, and I've subscribed to quilting magazines for years. I haven't for a while, but I did for a really long time. And when they were most beneficial was the times where I like insisted 
to myself that I would make something out of every issue and that I would get on it like right away. Like it would come in the mailbox and whatever I was doing that day got pushed aside and I started in on one of the projects. So I'm kind of taking the Crochet World magazine the same way. I like went through and as soon as I was flipping through I earmarked a couple of pages of what I had things in stash on hand to make them with and that I wanted to make and then I decided like right away like what was I going to make and that I needed to start it today or tomorrow because it came in the mail this morning. So I started making those tonight. I've got one foot done and the other one's in progress. They look kind of huge and wonky but when I hold out to my feet they're pretty close. They're a little bit long but I actually think that once I get all the parts together it'll be nice because I really don't like um, anything squishing my toes. My toes are very sensitive and they hurt when things get squished against them and yeah. So that should be good. And then the other crafting thing I did today, I was working on my coat here and I made the mistake of trying it on <laughs> and it's the stitches are beautiful and this yarn is amazing and it looks and feels so good on like stitch wise. Except design wise, it's a little weird. And I went back and looked at the website and I mean it is I guess what is shown in the pictures. But the pictures are very carefully edited to make it not look awkward when it's kind of awkward. So the way it looks, it has this like pointy bit in the back, which is really pretty with like these increases, but it makes it look kind of like you have a tail because these front pieces are completely straight. But I really like my seams turned out beautiful and I kind of like the way the front looks, except I'd like it to be longer. So I'm going to go ahead and try and mess with this little part down here and try to do a detail like the increase that's on the back of the coat. I want to try and do that off the side and make it like a longer like robe kind of all the way around. So I'm going to play with that some more but it gave me something to think about. And it also, um, trying it on, I need to make the sleeves a little bit bigger. That's part of the reason I tried it on. There was an, I was, you know, a little bit of the ways into one of the sleeves, um, this far in. So, I mean, not a huge amount, but there was a knot in the yarn that I needed to cut out anyways. So when I clipped it, since there was no ball hanging off, I was like, okay, well now's the time to try it on. Cause I wanted to try it on after I'd put part of the sleeve in so I could see how the shoulders like really fit. So, anyways, that will be getting more love here soon. And what else did I do? I think that's about it. It just, our day kind of filled up. Yeah, I did, but I am glad I got the planning done for the week. feel like we're in good shape. I'm going to California here, like, really soon. So, and we have a really busy weekend before that. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to go to... Winter Wolf Fest in Wamigo, which is a fiber festival. And Sunday, we have our next 4-H meeting where I guess we're going to go and like deliver cookies to people that can't get out of their house very well. So that's going to be like, I have to make cookies for that. Well, my daughter has to make cookies under my supervision, which is more time consuming and more stressful than if I just made them myself, but she's going to make them. And, um, Oh, we had to take our cat to the vet again on Wednesday because her, like, weird skin condition is back. And I think that might be it. But that's a lot of out-of-the-housing for me. <laughs> Considering that being out of the house makes me, like, exhausted and tired. So, yeah. Um, but I think that is it for today. Yes, it is. I'm going to finish the bottom of the slipper. And then probably try and get the vlog edited tonight rather than tomorrow so it can try and go up a little earlier. It's been ending up a little late because I just haven't been feeling well the last few days. But I am feeling all better other than just being a little sleepy. But I think that's from, you know, not sleeping well, from not feeling well. Anyways, I will talk to you tomorrow. Nighty night.